Is minimalist Gothic calligraphy an oxymoron? Yes, it totally is. So is the idea of gentle Gothics. But these contradictory themes form the basis of my current approach to calligraphy and what I'm sharing with you in this class. Hi, I'm Alice Young, a Canadian calligrapher and graphic designer. I'm excited to bring you this Skillshare class, the third in my Strong Line series. This class is a letter-by-letter -letter exploration of a hybrid Gothic hand using the 3.8 millimeter Pilot Parallel Pen. I call my version Gentle Gothics because it differs slightly from the traditional Gothic we know and love, the one usually called Black Letter. Black Letter has a long history symbolizing power, force, and sometimes oppression. Historically, along with those forceful and emphatic letters, there were many Northern European scribes creating more sensitive and even whimsical versions. Black letter was in use between the 11th and 15th century, and there were so many black letter variants and hybrids that they are difficult for historians to categorize and name. In creating the Gentle Gothics, I have looked to those historical references as well as the work of other modern scribes. I am deliberately seeking gentleness while trying to maintain the strength and rich texture of the hand. In this class, we are going to apply that to the design of a simple greeting card. Using carefully designed worksheets and close-up video lessons, I'll guide you through forming each letter. We'll look at lower and uppercase letters organized alphabetically. Then, we'll look at spacing and balance before you create and share your Gothic greeting card. Ideally, your card should contain one to five words and will work on a standard five by seven card format. This class is for students of calligraphy at every level and builds naturally on my last two Skillshare classes. I invite you to join me in learning or improving your skills with Gothic letter forms.